Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, just come to do some jokes. Hope I make you laugh. Hope a lot of people are drunk. When you're drunk, the jokes become a lot funnier. You know what I mean? I hope I don't offend anybody. You know, the last place I was in, I offended some people. And I hate when you're doing jokes in front of rich people, because the first thing they say is, I'm highly offended, and I'm calling my lawyer. You know, because see, when you're poor, you don't say that, because you don't know any lawyers. I know a public attorney, so when I give, somebody offends me, I say, I'm calling my public attorney. And you know, rich people, man, you know, they know. They know lawyers, they do, they're friends with them. So say like you're facing like a hundred years, a poor person and a rich person, rich person will call their friend, which is a lawyer, and they'll say, hey Tom, I'm uh, facing a hundred years, um, I'll probably need your assistance in maybe a couple of weeks. Um, I'll talk to you then, see you at the bar next week. <laughs> but you know, a poor person, they won't be that way, they're not that calm. They'll say, hey, uh, I'm facing a hundred years, I think I'm gonna lose my house, everything, uh, I'm scared, I'm about to poop on myself. Yeah, that's what happens. Uh, you know, I, you know what I like? I like honesty. Have you had people be honest to you? I was uh, in the store the other day and I was walking through the house and this guy kept following me, man. I said, this guy keeps following me. He must be following me because I'm black, you know? So it was the clerk, and I finally confronted him. I walked up to him, and I tried to put my mean voice. I said, hey, man, you follow me because I'm black? He said, don't be stupid. Of course I am. Follow you because you're black, and you're tall, and you look suspicious. You're not black. Yeah, I am black. <laughs> this guy must be drunk if he doesn't think I'm black. <laughs> but yeah, you know, he told me, he said, man, you get out of my store. Don't come back until you're short. Non-suspicious and you're white. I hope I didn't fit anybody with that joke. Uh, yeah. Oh, somebody's coming through the door. I hope it ain't the police. I got a record, man. You know, I don't like when people like videotape me and stuff because I'm on work release right now. You know, so they drop me off, I tell my jokes, I get back in the van, go back to jail. Oh, uh, you know, I'm a little shaking up right now because I got put on by the police actually before I came in there. I'm gonna stop lying. And uh, the police, man, they would, you know, they say stupid things. They ask you dumb questions. Guy had stopped me and he said, Do you know how fast you was going? And I said, Well, I said, no, nah, I don't really know. But if you don't know, I don't know. We got the problem solved then, don't we? Yeah. I know how to handle the police. You know, I like the the cops, man, that's on television. You know, the negotiators, those are the funniest ones. Because you always see a scene where it's like like a cop, and then you'll see a guy on the building, he's holding these people hostage. And the cop always manages to talk the person down. Talk him down, make him put his gun down, and everything is okay in 30 minutes. And in real life, it's like, it's not like it, man. Because look, if I was up on the building, I had somebody held hostage, and the cop and was trying to talk me down, so you put your gun down, I'll put my gun down. So yeah, you put your gun down, but what about those other 50 cops behind you? Yeah. Yeah, well, look, I, I was thinking about some things lately. I said, man, going back to the honesty thing, I said, why do people always tell lies? You know, they don't be real honest about things. Like on job interviews, you ever had a job interview where people want to say things that they think you want to hear? Like when you go on a job interview, they'll say, what was your previous employer? What? How many years did you work there? Did you have a good reputation? Then they start asking all kinds of silly things that have nothing to do with the job. Where to you get your hair cut? Where do you play sports on the weekend? I'm like, come on, man, let's cut to the chase. You know, I would like to just be able to just flip this around on them, say what I want to say. Say like, have you ever had an employee you want to choke you? You ever have one slash your tires? Have you ever had an employee make a bomb threat? Yeah. If you say that, you're probably not going to get the job. Uh, I want to talk about sports. We're making a shift away from the job thing, man. You know, sports, man, is a funny thing, but I don't think everything's really actually considered a sport. You know, like ESPN, they always have these different sports on there. And I'm like, man, a lot of these, there's a drunk guy back there just tripped. Yeah. 
Hope he doesn't kill himself. That would be tragic, wouldn't it? Wouldn't even be funny at all. Getting back to what I was talking about, I think I'm a little drunk. But, hey, look, you know, on ESPN, they have these different things that they consider sports, and they're not actually sports, like the National Chess Competition. That's not a sport. That's something, whatever, the two nerds play. Yeah, like darts, the National Dart Competition. That's not a sport either. That's something that drunk people play in a bar. That's real smart. Give somebody drunk a blade and let them throw it at somebody. Yeah, they got your neck in time, Bob. What about the National Fish Competition? That's something two people do, man, on a vacation. Or what about hunting? Hunting's not a sport, because in any sport you have to have two willing participants. You know, I'm pretty sure the guy's got his gun in and wants to be there, but I'm pretty sure the deer doesn't want to be there. <laughs> well, look, I'm going to end it on this note. It didn't work out the way I thought it would. I thought I'd get more laughs, but that's okay. All people who did laugh, I love you, and all the other people, I hope your car stops on you on the way home. <laughs> Have a good night.